Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by y equals square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 3. About the line, first we'll do x equals 3, and then we'll do x equals 6. This one is different in that we're not revolving it around the x or y axis. We have a different axis of revolution. So let's go ahead and sketch our region. And we first have the y equals square root of x graph. And then we're also bounded by y equals 0 and x equals 3. So here's our region. We are actually going to rotate it about this line x equals 3. So you can see if we were to rotate that about this line that we are going to generate a solid that is dome shaped. And if we have a little slice, we are going to be have forming disks here. And it's got a little thickness dy. You can see if we were to rotate this around, we would have these disks here of this radius. Now, let's see how we can express that then. Well, first of all, we know our integral is going to, everything will be expressed in terms of y because we've got our little thickness dy. So y is going to go from 0 to this y value, which is when x equals 3. So that's going to be when y is square root of 3. Now, expressing the area of a disk is going to be pi r squared and we can see that wherever we make the slice our r is going to be this value is 3 and if we subtract off this this is the x value and we would have left the radius so for example right here if we subtract it off the x value right here from 3 we would have the radius left. Now we want to express this in terms of y so let's go up here and we will square both sides and x equal y squared. So the radius is going to be 3 minus the x value which is y squared and then squared. So this is the area of a disk pi r squared and then we're going to multiply it by little thickness dy. Now to evaluate this integral, first we'll move the pi out in front and then we're going to go ahead and multiply this out. So that'll be 9 minus 6y squared plus y to the fourth and that's dy. So that will be pi and doing the integration this would be 9y minus 2y to the third plus 1 fifth y to the fifth evaluated from 0 to square root of 3. So pi multiplied by 9 square roots of 3 minus 2 square roots of 3 cubed plus 1 fifth square root of 3 to the fifth. Now let's simplify that. This is the square root of 3 cubed, which is a square root of 3 squared, and then another square root of 3, and this is just 3. So it looks like we're going to have pi uh, multiplied by 9 square roots of 3 minus 6 square roots of 3. Here we have the square root of 3 squared twice, so that is 3 times 3, or 9 fifths, and then we still have a square root of 3 left. And then we just need to get a common denominator and combine those so we could make these into fifths. And looks like we got 45 square roots of 3 fifths minus 30 square roots of 3 fifths, which is 15 square roots of 3 fifths plus 9 square roots of 3 fifths. So it looks like we have 24 square roots of 3 pi fifths as our volume. Now, how would this be different if we rotated about x equals 6 instead of x equals 3? So we wouldn't have our little dashed line here. And instead, we would have a dashed line over at x equals 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, right over here. A sketch is important because it helps you see what your radius is, where your slices are, and so forth. So now, as we rotate this curve about this line, the curve actually stopped at x equal 3. So this was our region right in here. So now visualize this region rotated around this axis here at x equals 6. And you can see that you're going to have this cylindrical hole in the middle when you rotate around. So you're still going to have this little slice here 
and you are going to what we're going to need to do now is let's go ahead and take this R off here it's going to still be a little thickness dy but we are going to have this big R which will be all of the way over here and then subtract off the little r the area of the hole so we now have washer going on and we are still going to be integrating from 0 to square root of 3 and things are going to be in terms of y but we're going to need to use the washer method and find the area of this big disk and then subtract off the area of this hole so let's do that so we're going to have our pi and then if I look at what the radius of this big thing would be, I can see that would be 6 minus the x value there. So that's going to be 6 minus y squared, and that's squared. Now this would be the area of the disk if there was no hole in it here. And then we're going to subtract off the area of the hole, which is going to be pi. Now here's the radius of the hole right here. And what is the radius of that hole? Well, that's fixed. That's a constant 3. You can just see it from the picture here. It ranges from x equal 3 to x equal 6. So that radius is going to be 3. No matter where you're looking here, that radius is going to be 3. So that's going to be pi 3 squared. And then multiplied by our little thickness dy. Let's go ahead and see what we can do now then to simplify this. So we can factor the pi out in front, integrate from 0 to square root of 3. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. That's going to be 36 minus 12y squared plus y to the fourth. And then here we factored the pi out minus 9 dy. And these two will combine here to give us 27. Let's go ahead and do the integration. So we've got our pi, and this 36 minus 9 was 27, so that's going to be 27y. This will be minus 4y to the third plus 1 fifth y to the fifth, evaluated from 0 to square root of 3. Okay, so this is going to be pi multiplied by 27 square roots of 3 minus, we can see when we put this in, that's going to give us 12 square roots of 3. We put that in here, we're going to get plus 9 fifths square roots of 3. So let's see what we would get here. We've got 27 square roots of 3 minus 12 square roots of 3. That's 15 square roots of 3, and that would need to be multiplied by 5, so we could get it into fifths. So 15, let's see, 30, 60, that's 75 square roots of 3 pi plus 9 more square roots of 3 fifths. And so that's going to be 84 square roots of 3 pi fifths for our volume.